what is up my watch friends so check this out i've got a mess in the background i've got boxes of where i was loaning watches out i've got a gift that came in of a watch that i adored when it was around on tour and one of my watch buddies thought well enough to get it and gift it to me which was amazing i've got some unboxings i gotta do later this is what i want to look at though so this is just raw simple unboxing um if you're curious i'm wearing the g-shock the blue one and i put it on this combi and as soon as i put it on this v1 combi this became my favorite g square now and i can't kind of take it off but um this is what i want to go over now this was sold into a friend of mine or i'm sorry it was sold to me by a friend of mine and this is i believe a pretty special watch and so this is uh my initial impressions so i just wanted to film the unboxing of it and uh well if i can get it undone um but let's just see it's got this leather watch roll and as i get it opened up oh okay so I'm guessing some of these are straps. There should only be one watch, I believe. So let's just look. Okay, well, that might look familiar to you. Even though this uh, watch roll is unique. I've never seen a Zelos watch roll like this. But we also have this. And if you look at that serial number, this is a pretty limited edition. There were 10 of these made. And apparently this is number three so let's just see here we've got a strap like a rubber strap that comes with it and i don't have my wide angle lens on and so i've got a much tighter shot to film in oh a really really smooth rubber this one well i like that a lot and if you can tell by the stitching color that probably matches the watch but let's get this out and here it is so there's the zelos buckle it's on this custom made ostrich strap i believe it's ostrich anyway but let's take a look okay first impressions oh man okay that looks even better all right sorry hold on let me get this out of the way that looks even better in person than it looked in the pictures. And so my buddy posts pictures of this one. If you if you know, you probably know who I got this from, right? If you're part of the Zelos group, you probably already know my buddy Ryan. But um yeah, wow. Well, Ryan, I gotta say, dude this looks amazing the strap pairs with it perfectly and i've been i've been looking into and studying it you can see it's got a custom modded dial so this is a makume gani swordfish and i'll do a i'll do another video with a review of it but you can see that this one's been modded and i believe it's called kintsugi now if you speak japanese and I mispronounced that, then let me know, because I mispronounce a lot of stuff. But I actually took the time to try to look that up and learn how to pronounce it. And I believe this art form that you see on this dial is called Kintsugi. Kintsugi. And it means basically like golden joinery. And the way that it works is it's done with a lot of ceramic art and other things where if something is broken, they do not try to hide that it's broken. And they actually will fix it. And instead of using glue, they will use gold or silver or platinum to almost accentuate the fact that it's cracked or broken. And so he had this dial. If you can see, it's the black sand. I'm almost positive. Let me see if I can get zoomed in on. It's the black sand dial. I'm almost certain that he then had painted in the kintsugi style so it's not actually broken and putting back together it doesn't look like but yeah 
Well, man, that is beautiful. And I absolutely adore this. So uh, I'll give just a couple of words real quick. One of the things that I've been wanting to do with my watch collecting, now that I'm getting quite a ways into this, and I've acquired a pretty reasonable, well, if not huge, collection, I want to really start going after some of the rare and really limited stuff and especially that stuff that speaks to me and as soon as I saw Ryan post pictures of this one it spoke to me and I could probably go into a whole nother video as to why but the whole the whole notion of this being like broken um if you know me right um well if you know me well or personally uh, other than just on this channel um so I'm in grad school right now and uh, I'm going through seminary. I'm doing a master's of or a master of Christian thought degree um, and God and Jesus and just the gospel and all of that are my number one priority in life. And if you know anything about the gospel story, the basic premise is that we're broken, but God fixed us through Christ, and that's amazing. And so when I look at this watch, it, it, it to me, is a reminder of my brokenness, but of the beautiful, glorious news of the gospel that I am repaired, or I am fixed, and I'm fixed not in, not in a way that hides the scratches, but I'm fixed in a way through Christ that makes the fracture shine and makes it beautiful and so i don't know so if that turns any of y'all off then um you know you're welcome to unsubscribe or not watch my videos but if you know i don't know if you're a christian too reach out to me right i'm always interested in meeting fellow siblings of christ i'm friends with many of you guys on youtube um and it just so happens to work out that way but in this case um, yeah, that's what this watch means to me, and it's one of the reasons why as soon as he offered me dibs on it, I said, yes, please. So, anyway, here we go. We'll wrap out with that Makime Gane with that beautiful, beautiful custom dial. All right, until we talk again, my friends, please remember what really matters. And that's not watches. Keep the insanity sane.